Newton is really starting to expand beyond their signature baby mattresses, and today we're gonna get a quick look at their bassinet. Let's start it all with the Woven Air Core. Now this is by far the biggest differentiator that Newton is gonna be bringing to the table. If you're not already familiar with their crib mattresses, the core is made of a food grade polymer that's basically spun together and provides ample air throughout the mattress, making it quote unquote, breathable. Now, this is a term that's most commonly associated with the Newton brand. I've heard a few parenting groups attack that nomenclature pretty aggressively, but it does stand alone as being able to say that it can be categorized as such. They've carried that core beyond crib mattresses and into twin size mattresses for kids, and they've also been able to implement it into this bassinet. Now, the breathability aspect is a major draw, but if you're new to my channel, when we're talking about a scale of importance here, a firm sleep surface is gonna be the most crucial thing that you're looking for, and this bassinet is definitely firm, even with a base that has a lot of breathability. Now, getting a closer look, it's wrapped with basically an adapted version of their 3D space cover. Uh, inside of the cover is a slimmed down version of their woven air core, and under that, is a rigid plastic base with multiple holes drilled throughout. Altogether, it's about three and a half centimeters thick and comes with a breathable dual layer quilted cloud cover for a little extra comfort. Now, in comparison to other leading bassinet brands, like I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be the only one that can claim that breathability factor, but at 41 and a half inches by 22 inches, it's also one of the largest bassinet surfaces that you're gonna find. Moving on, we can get a look at the birch frame, which offers a good amount of rigidity while still being fairly lightweight from an aesthetic standpoint. It's really nice. I'm a huge fan of wood being incorporated into designs like this, and there aren't too many out there that push into this visual style as much. It's a very subjective take. You may or may not be something that you would entirely agree with, but you know, it's fine. At the bottom are handles that you can pull out to adjust the height of the bassinet. Now, one thing that I noticed when adjusting the height is I haven't been able to raise the level of the bassinet altogether with both of my hands at the same time. So instead, what I've had to do is raise each side individually. Uh, just a small thing that I wanted to know. Now, when it comes to portability and travel, I don't think that this is the most ideal option that you're ever gonna find, uh, but it's also not gonna be the heavy lockdown swivel sleeper type situation that's not really meant to move. Uh, you know, I, I think that this option probably fits somewhere in between. Going from room to room, it's lightweight enough for you to move around, uh, but it's not really something that you can quickly collapse since the unboxing and setup required the use of screws, uh, an Allen wrench and, and multiple pieces to slot together. With that said, the setup and build only took a few minutes. It really wasn't that complicated. Uh, it, well, in fact, I actually was able to do it while wearing my baby. I wouldn't recommend you doing that, but just know that it is possible. Uh, it does come with a travel bag and technically, yes, you can travel with it. But personally, I would limit it to bringing along to grandma's house who lives nearby. Full on air travel during vacations is gonna prove to be a little bit tougher to bring along. One thing that I'm always looking for are mesh sides all around the bassinet. That appeals to me most since it lends itself more uh, to an, an open air feel and, and gives visibility of your baby from any angle. Love what they've got going on here with regards to the all mesh sides. And another interesting feature is how you can unzip one of the side walls and have this serve as a bedside sleeper. Now to share my personal experience, this was never something that we ever did or, or considered. I'm sure it can offer a lot of convenience, especially for breastfeeding moms during those late night feeds, offering easy access uh, along the bedside to your infant. Uh, but for us, we kept our bassinets a few feet away from our bed, but either way, the sidewall can adapt to your preference. Now this bassinet in particular is priced at $299 and would largely be considered you know, a, a premium option. And I would say that has a few similarities to others in its class, but doesn't push into that next pricing tier of bassinets that start to incorporate tech, like, you know, like sounds and motions and, and vibrations, things that you may not need. Uh, I would say this is gonna be great if you are looking for a, a dual function bassinet that is of a higher quality build and has that premium aesthetic with the addition of, of that Birch frame that we talked about, but don't necessarily want any sort of tech integrations. 
This can bode well for a lot of families, especially those breastfeeding moms out there who like that bedside access and convenience. And if you fully intend on buying a Newton crib mattress down the line, the transition from the bassinet to a crib might be a little bit easier since the sleep surfaces are very similar and have the same textures. So, uh, you know, there's gonna be some familiarity there. If you want, you can use the code DVB50 for $50 off the bassinet. I'll have it linked in the description and pin it in the comments. I'm not making any sort of affiliate dollars off that link. This is just a raw discount that you can use and, and save a little bit of cash. So go ahead and use that, it's linked below. That's where I leave you with this review. If you found, it, if you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And then check out this video next. God bless, we'll catch you later.